So here I have an array six large wheels. As you can see those two wheels are different. So this is the abundant abandoned uh, version. So it's too time consuming, too labor intensive to create it and it does not uh, kind of give any better results. So this is the final prototype. So you see it has six spokes. Well, they all have six spokes. I'll show you why. That's because they're gonna have a quill drive. Quill drive with uh, springs attached to each spoke. I'm gonna have six of those springs attach on each wheel. That's for another video. For now this is just the construction of the wheel. And uh, the, the, the thing that holds all those six spokes is the medallion. If you didn't have the medallion the, the wheel with six spokes will be too flimsy. It won't have enough uh, rigidity. So the, the medallion adds rigidity and it also serves as a somewhat arguably aesthetic purpose. So this is the, the part that will be driving those wheels. This is part of the quill drive. So this is how you assemble it. Just insert one wheel on one, on one side. So basically what you have is uh, you end up having a small pipe, basically a hollow shaft. This is compared to the small trailing and guiding wheel. This is how big it is. So this is how you build the mold. So what I'm doing here is I'm using two popsicle sticks glued together. Alright, so as you can see each popsicle stick, I don't know if you can see, but each popsicle stick is two millimeters and two of them gives you four millimeters. And you should divide it at around maybe 17 centimeters. 17 millimeters. So once you have a couple of those, which you already have, so what you need to do is take a double-sided adhesive tape, sticky tape, you glue it to a flat surface, like so, and now you have, I don't know if you can see it, you have the transparent sticky tape. You glue the rough side. Once you have it glued to the rough side, you overturn it, you place two popsicle sticks on your vise and then you overturn your flat plate You're going to be using a jig that you cut out with a, with another jig, which is something like this. It has a blade inside, it has a pivot nail. So this is a for a smaller wheel, and that's for a larger wheel. So you cut out a very neat circle, and you secure it with a nail in the center, and then you glue the the recently sanded double popsicle sticks and you do it all around so 
for a larger wheel you use the full width of the uh, popsicle stick so here is how to construct a spoke for a large 50 millimeter locomotive wheel mm. you have to make a small split here I'll show you in a moment why so you bend it this small split you bend it out a little bit so you trim the sharp corners so you see we already have something that this looks like So now I'm going to install it inside the wheel circle. So this is a new mold. <coughs> As you can see, those are popsicle sticks. I'm going to start soldering it. This is what it should look like after I'm done. Need to add some more flux. So now I have to solder the medallion. So the medallion is a piece of metal. It's a hexagonal pattern. Six flaps to be bent in. So I have a little bit of solder here. I'm gonna use it to solder this medallion. It needs a lot. I need somewhat a little bit. The secret of post production is that you use as least thin as possible, then you won't have to file half a day. If you spend more than five minutes filing, then you wasted way too much time. Now you still have to file the outside. That's a different operation. Correct it. 